Hey there guys and welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome back to the QPR career mode. Now, if you've missed out on the rest of this series then jump on back. This is episode number 4 and we're going to jump straight in and look at some players on the transfer hub. Okay, so for those of you who have been up to date and been watching this, um, as you know we were looking for one last player to kind of bring in just before the transfer window. We've got a nice little bit of money um, and the main consensus I got was a right back. So I've gone and had a look at a few. Um, Mbappu, I'm going to say Mbappu, was uh, recommended to me but he has just joined the club. So I don't know whether it's going to be an option. But I've, I've gone and got him scouted so he'll come back to us in the next few days with his value and stuff uh, but I don't know that we'll be able to sign him just because he's just moved to uh, young boys. Uh, Zafan I saw was transfer listed so what I'm going to just very quickly do is because I know that he'll potentially be going soon-ish um, because I knew that he was transfer listed I thought if we can get an, like, an offer accepted for him he might go for a little bit cheaper than we'd anticipate um, I think he's sort of a silver, mid-silver range, so he'd be a decent enough signing. And he's 25, so he's not that old. Um, but I thought I'd throw a delegate um, offer on him. Uh, Georgian, I'm g is how I'm going to say that. Um, probably saying it wrong again. Um, he's a great youth player. Uh, really, really good last year, so I'm assuming he's going to be just as good this year. Plus, he's got good potential. Um, so, again, I'm going to wait for them to come back on him. Uh, and then I've got Bernardo. Uh, who obviously did very, very well for Leipzig in real life last year. Um, he was a silver card last year, so I'm thinking he might even be like a low gold. But again, I don't know. Oh, I've just seen his release clause is 8.4, so that might be a little bit out of our range. But uh, you never know. He might be going for a little bit less, so we'll just have to wait and find out. But I wanted you guys to know those are the four options at the moment that I'm considering. Okay, guys, so up next, we are in the Carabao Cup in the second round, I believe it is, against Middlesbrough. As you can see, a bit of a change round in the team. Anu has come back in for Akpaguma just because Akpaguma was a little bit tired. We don't have too many options at fullback, so Robinson and Furlong are going to start, um, but we might look to bring in, say, Bidwell partway through the game. Borosik Freeman and Luongo in the middle with Nuri at Cam, and then Brereton and Silla up top. Probably going to be a quite a few changes quite a few people coming off, well I say well there's going to be three people coming off as a max, uh, but we might take off some of the bigger players just to rest them if we're doing well in the game. Here we are at Loftus Road, uh, a cup game but not an easy cup game, already against one of the uh, relegated teams from the Premier League last year so it's going to be a tough game, we had a, a much better episode last episode actually with a win and two draws so hopefully we can continue with some unbeaten streak and uh, get ourselves a win here. Robinson really trying to push down that wing, but Braithwaite is catching him up. He's not got any freedom down there if Braithwaite's running, uh, running up against him. But we find Brereton, who goes to Silla. Let's go back to Nori, back to Brereton. Oh, that was... I think I tried a little bit much there, but not bad build-up. Good play. I knew I'm muscling him out. Causing a foul, apparently, as well, but that's fine. Let's go back to Anua. It's just... Braithwaite can't out-muscle him. So he's got to try and play it around him. Which he tried, but Corker did get back well there. Good clearance. Well, it's half time. It's a bit of a nothingy half, if I'm honest with you. Like, not much really going on. I mean, there weren't many shots. I I feel like this this formation's really good at holding them off, but not great as for I mean, like in other games, it's been great for us to actually counter and make attacks, but actually I feel like at the moment, we're not creating very much, so I might have to change that up quick. Okay, so for the second half, we've gone to the 4-2-3-1 narrow with the three cams. Um, and the only change we made in regards to personnel is we took off Robinson and we brought on Bidwell just to give some fresh legs and also just to give uh, Robinson a bit of a break. Nice. Let's keep them out. Let's keep them out. Keep them out. No, 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 no. Oh, Smithies. Yo, Smithies got beat so easily then. I feel like that was a really weak goal to concede there. Uh, I want to see that again because, like I said, it looked like an easy enough shot to save. It's annoying they got the shot a full stop. Like, he's just onside. He just, like, falls. He doesn't really die for it, which is frustrating. But 1-0 down, and now we've got a late comeback to try and go for. Silla. Let's make something here. Nice. Nori, try it. He gets the shot off, and it does go in. It finds the back of the net. 
I was I wasn't entirely convinced that was really going to even get a shot, so I kind of almost started talking. Uh, stopped talking, sorry. But Nori, a cross goal. I think it goes through the defender's legs, and it does find the top left. That was pretty much from kickoff as well. So fair play to the boys for actually coming straight out the bag and, and just going for it. Yeah, see that two minutes difference. Well done, boys. Come on. Okay, so fairly late on, we've made some changes. Sadly, they're changes that are just for sort of bigger players that need a bit of a rest, which isn't the best thing to have to do in a tight 1-1 game. But we've brought on Washington for Silla, and we have brought on uh, Skowen for Luongo. So hopefully some fresh legs can help us out, but also hopefully those resting of players will help us out long term. Oh, that's a, a good header, but not to the right place. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, nobody chased up the header from Anua, and it just dropped to the Middlesbrough. Oh. Bamford just had an easy finish. That's so frustrating. Like, the, the header was... It was there. It was good. I was very happy with the fact he was clearing it. But look, it goes to... I think that's Ayala. And then Bamford just tucks it across the goal. Again, not too far from Smithies, but he kind of just falls instead of going for the ball. But... 2-1, we've now got an even later comeback to go for. We've got 10 minutes left on the clock. Come on, boys, let's do something. That's it, Nori, go. Nice, Washington, turn him. Come on, Washington, bottom corner. Washington, Connor. Oh, that should have been on target at least. And they're bringing on a defender in Fabio as well. Freeman, oh, look at the space. Is that Borishuk or is it Skoen? Skoen, he's got fresh legs. Off you go, Skoen, find Washington. Let's go. Let's go down. Nori, the overlap. Freeman cross goal, surely. Oh, it was a, probably a bit too wide out. I probably shouldn't have shot. I probably should have tried to sweat. And now they've got a... Oh, they've got men over here. They have got men over here. Well done, Corker, and well done, Anua. Now let's us counter them again. Go. Brereton finds Freeman. He finds Washington. Back to Freeman. On your left, mate. Oh, I had to get it on his left. We saw what happened when he was on his right last time. Something tells me that is my last chance. I don't think we're going to get another chance here. And I think that means we're out of the cup. Oh, and they're through. Smithies, you've got to come to it. Oh, they miss it. But that is full time. 2-1. And we are out of the Carabao Cup. Now, I'm not too upset with the fact we didn't win. Like, I wasn't expecting to win the cup, you know. But I'm upset that we've gone out that early. It's not very much money you get from the Carabao Cup. But... A little trickle of money would have been nice every now and again. Well, a loss wasn't the way I wanted to start this episode, obviously. Uh, but we are going to now look forward and ahead to the Cardiff City game, which is away, I believe. Okay, so on the uh, deadline day, right, with w what had happened, um, as you can see, an agreement was made. This, this, like, this came on the 25th. I thought, I'll wait till the, the game day. Um, this came through on the 25th, then on the 26th they broke down because apparently I didn't get back to them in time, and I thought a day's not that atrocious, is it? And then I got the squad, um, scout report, sorry, for him. So he's 69 rated, so it would be good, but I, I don't know if I can approach him now. No. Oh, he's moved. Okay, that could be why, he has actually moved, but maybe I missed my chance there. But uh, 69 rated wouldn't have actually been that bad. It would have been a bit of an improvement. Uh, but he is 25. So, I mean, think of that what you will. But that's something to bear in mind. If we get an email saying, oh, I've reached an agreement, I should just go and check it straight away. Okay, so the Cardiff away game. Here we are, as you can see. We've gone back to pretty much our original lineup. Uh, Skoen in for Borishuk. Uh, Akpaguma's back in. And we're going back to our usual formation. We've also got Wojciech back. Um, so, some fresh players in there. A couple slightly tired. Furlong will probably make his way off the pitch at some point along with Nori both a little bit tired but hopefully we can get ourselves some big points because actually Cardiff believe it or not are below us in the table right now so uh, let's jump in okay today we are away we are at Cardiff and uh, three big points here up for grabs uh, giving us nine points so far after five games would be would be quite nice I reckon we could be hitting sort of just around the playoff places already at this point so We've got to go for those points. Let's go for a big win here, boys. Come on, Skoen. Bursting up, mate. Oh, we can't find Silla. Oh, Skoen does win it back, though. Come on. Let's cut down. Who's this running through? Luongo, try it, mate. 
Oh, it's a good effort. Etheridge with a great save, though. But we do have the corner. Let's see if we just play it short. Come on, Nori, mate. Nice. Edge of the box. And again. Take the shot, Wojciech. Oh, it doesn't quite make its way through. Oh, oh, it does just about break through to Nori. Go on, Nori. Power through. Power through. Nori. Make the space. Cross the goal. Oh, it's off the post. Great effort, but just, just wide of the target. They've got a set piece quite far back. They do find the guy, though. Oh, no. Pilkington's got space, and he's got a goal. Why can we not keep a clean sheet? My defending is, is atrocious. It, it honestly is. I'm actually going to make a first half sub and bring on Bidwell, I think. Nice. Silla, turn your man. That's it. Go for it. Cross the goal. Oh, it's just dragged wide. Come on, boys. Oh, it's half time. Really, really frustrated to have conceded, especially that late on. I felt like we were the better team there. I felt like stat-wise we probably should have come out on top in that first half. I am actually going to double check because, like I said, that's definitely the wrong thing. I, I felt like we were the dominant team. Uh, okay, fair enough. Pretty even. Um, but we had more shots, but they weren't on target. And that's been the issue. Both teams have had one on target. Mine was saved. He scored. So maybe a change and then we'll jump back in. Okay, second half. I did take off Furlong for Bidwell. Just because uh, Furlong was pretty knackered. Um, and I've also I've kept the formation the same. And I've brought on Cousins at centre mid for Freeman. Um, and actually, from the kickoff, we might have something here. Luongo, good save from Etheridge. Whips that in. Robinson. Oh no, it's dropped to Hoylet. Who's just banged it in the top corner, boys. Oh dear, Junior. Boys, 2-0 down. Something has got to give. I, can't, I don't want back-to-back -back losses. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit a third game in with the end of the transfer window. So I don't want an episode of just straight-up losses. Okay, last change. In the hope of something, Washington on for Nori. Nori was tired. I would have loved to have kept him on, but he was absolutely on his last legs. Uh, and we've gone to the 4-3-1-2 in the hope that we get something from this. Well done, Scowen. Luongo. We've got to go all out attack now. Washington. Silla. Beat your man. Go out wide. Nice, Robinson. Please get this ball in there. Adressa, that's yours. Yes, Adressa. 2-1. Right. I can't grab the ball. Someone someone grab the... Okay, fine. Just just jump at each other. That's fine. 2-1. Oh. Great ball in from Robinson. Silla making the pass to him. And then Robinson whipping it in. Back to Silla. Good goal. Crossed the keeper. Went back on himself. 2-1. We have got to try and get back into this. That's Silla's third goal in the championship now. Can he find a fourth? Come on. Pick that up. Oh, Bryson. Well done, Nwongo. Like I said, we're on all-out attack. I'd rather lose 4-2 than not long left. We have like two minutes of the game. Washington. Come on, you can beat him for pace. You have... Oh, but you can't find the pass. All they've got to do really now is keep the ball. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I don't want two losses, boys. But I don't think I've got much of a choice. No, I don't. 2-1. Oh. Another loss. Not good at all. We were above them. They're now going to leapfrog us. And we're going to be in sort of like 13th, 14th. This is not good. Okay, so as things stand, we are in 15th, guys. This is this is awful. We've really got to turn something around here. Got to get these late season jets going. Late season? That's it's, We're five games in. Got to get these season jets going, but a little bit later than I would have liked. Our first loss in the championship. Oh, let's wait for these uh, reviews to come through these players and see who we are going to invest in. Okay, so here we are. We are on the deadline day and it is that time all three of the reports have come through so now is the time it's now or never to make a decision right 4.4 million for a 73 rated bernardo 35 grand wages 600k for a 63 rated there we go so 
Georgian is lower rated. He's got great promise though, so he is someone we could like uh, give the training sessions to, and he would he would absolutely fly up. Um, so he's a possible, and then we've got see he's like the perfect in between. I'm go I'm going to approach. I don't think I can actually buy him. Is the problem because they did say he's just moved. So I will approach them if it gives me the chance to because he is the perfect in between. I'm pretty sure he's like pretty much exactly the money we've got. So approach to buy. No, he's just left. So I can't actually buy him. Um I'm going to have a little look. I'll start I'll start off with Bernardo. See if we can afford him. Like that's that's step number 1. If we can't afford him, then we'll have to look at somebody else. Um, we have 3.9. So, I mean, is there anyone we can offer in a swap? Um, we have Smith. Um, hmm. It's not really anybody else to offer um could offer another foot we could offer bidwell maybe he's 24 or that i mean it's not going to do much to the the value is it uh let's offer 3.5 see what they say they could be like really pissy about that but i'm gonna submit it hopefully he doesn't like storm out which he did. Ah, oh, Tom. Okay, I didn't. I didn't have too many options there. I could have just straight up offered three point nine, and he probably still would have been pissy. Um, now, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on me signing this guy. I know that he's actually technically worse than Furlong, but like I said, a couple of weeks, and his rating goes through the roof. You know, so I'm actually going to make an offer. Let's go to 600. Let's go to his value and see what they say. PSG, they're very happy with that. 600, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I'm gonna have a quick look at some other right backs and see what my options are, and I'll come right back. Okay, so I had a look through, and I'm gonna be brutally honest. I didn't find anyone that grabbed my attention. Um, anyone that I thought would be quite good to use was like gonna be way too expensive um, and anyone who was sort of the right rating was at a big club and had either just moved or wages were through the roof like we're talking like 35 40 grand which I know we can afford but when you then put on like a five six million pound transfer fee we can't afford so I'm gonna take a bit of a punt here I'm gonna go for I'm gonna say Georgian I need to buy people I can pronounce their names of this is probably step number one Tom like I said, I know and I'm very, very aware that he is lower rated than my current options. But I'm very, very convinced that we can absolutely power him through um, his ratings and get him very, very high up in rating. So um, I'm actually going to just, I think I'm just going to accept that. That's not a bad deal. You know, it's costing us 700 grand pretty much altogether, and only 7 grand wages. So, I am going to sign Georgian. I'm also promising you guys, he will be 70 rated, like, within a month or so. He is going to power through those ratings. So, don't think that I've just skimped out and bought someone naff. His rating, his rating, his potential is incredible. Um, and I think he is going to be a fantastic replacement for Furlong can definitely come in and do a solid solid job he's gonna out I, I reckon he's gonna be out rating furlong within a month so it's just a very short little investment in rating wise so I I am very confident that he can do that I'd also like to know how everyone is in form when we've lost two games back to back answers on a postcard please okay so it is transfer deadline date let's have a little look oh my god latest deals you've got Napoli signed Mares. You've got Walcott went to AC Milan, Loton to Bayer Leverkusen. So the biggest deals you've got Willian to Atletico Madrid, you've got Mares to Napoli, and you've got Royce to AC Milan. AC Milan looks solid right now. That's crazy. Let's have a little look. Skip on through. Okay, another big deal. Forsberg 
to PSG. They're investing in that Georgette money. 39.1 million pounds. Man. Some other massive deals. You've got Abate has gone to Wolfsburg and Insigne has gone to Bayern Munich. This is crazy. This is a crazy transfer window. Uh, just to catch up, we've got Derm gone to Watford and Veltman's gone to Hamburg. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to show you guys very, very quickly with an hour left, our ins and outs. So we've spent nearly 11 million and we've made nearly 7 million, which makes sense. We've got about 4 million left. Um, so pretty, pretty busy. And the three biggest signings, you've got Maris to Napoli for 14.5 million. You've got Royce to AC Milan, the team currently on fire at 57.7 million. And Insignia going to Bayern Munich for 71 million. So that, guys, is that. That is this episode of the career mode. The worst episode, I think, so far for us. Uh, so that absolutely sucks. Um, I just wanted to show you, just in the background while I sort of finish the video, the current ratings, the current sort of form and happiness of the team. So I think it's safe to say that there's definite improvements that need to be made. There's definite... I think it's more me. I think I need to find something that works for me. And if I find a player that I like and is working for me... I don't need to always rotate, I can keep him in the team and I can play him till he is knackered. Okay, so that's part of the plan right now. I um, hope you've enjoyed this, I hope that me losing hasn't made you think, well, I'm not watching this series anymore, uh, because I promise you, we are going to get QPR back into the Premier League, we're going to bring this team some glory back, my team. Big, big fans. We've got big, big work and steps ahead of us. But boys, thank you so much for checking out episode four of the QPR Crew Mode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment to let me know how bad I am at the game. And of course, subscribe if you are new around here. But again, boys, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye. Look after yourselves.